everybody, I'm Jenny Vanna, Media Services Director for the City of Des Plaines. In 2020, 80% of our population, or 47,000 people, took the U.S. Census. And that response rate was higher than the entire state of Illinois. So great job, Des Plaines. What does it mean to take the census and how does it impact our community? Well, that's exactly what we're going to find out on today's Des Plaines Connection. Let's get started. downtown Des Plaines and joining me is John Carlisle, our new director of the Community and Economic Development Department. Thank you so much for being here today. Thanks for inviting me, Jenny. So before we dig into the data, congratulations on your new promotion. Tell us a little bit about yourself and about your new role. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, I just started as director of Community and Economic Development a few weeks ago. Uh, before that, I was the Economic Development Manager, so I've been with the city since early June. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, before here, I was with the city of Park Ridge for about three and a half years, working in a, a similar role. And before that, with our regional agency, the Chicago Metropolitan Agency for Planning. So I love working with communities, and I'm so excited to be here in Des Plaines. What do you think of Des Plaines so far? I know you've been busy. I have been. <laughs> Um, it's a really fascinating place uh, to work and to serve people. There's so much going on. We have a diverse resident population, a diverse set of businesses, and that keeps it fun and exciting and challenging. All right, so in 2020, there was so much attention. Every time you turn on the TV, there was marketing about the census and encouraging people to participate in the census. Well, now we're at the end of 2021 and we haven't heard much about it. And so I thought it'd be important to tell folks you know, about the census results and really what it means to them and to displays. Can sure. you help us with that? Absolutely. So first and foremost, because of uh, both trends in natural development and also I think the, the effort to get out the count, uh, Des Plaines grew in its resident population between 2010 and 2020. Uh, now we can say, based on these numbers, that there are more than 60,000 residents in Des Plaines. According to the uh, population, it's 60,675. This is about a 4% increase over the last 10 years, and it's the largest that it's ever been. So Des Plaines should feel good about the fact that we are at our peak in terms of growth. Uh, compared to some of our neighbors, uh, this is relatively good. Other neighbors um, have grown as well, but then some, some have struggled. Uh, Illinois overall did not gain population. So when you consider Des Plaines and, and some other communities in this region, uh, we are relatively strong in terms of attracting residents and growing from within. All right, so that means that people want to come to Des Plaines. They want to live here and that's great news. So what are some of the other you know, findings or trends that came out of the census? In asking people on the forums, which those who may be watching hopefully participated, they know that the forum asks several questions. And it's designed to tell us not just how many people, but some facts about them, their background, the language they speak at home, and that kind of thing. And what jumps out is that Des Plaines is continuing to become more diverse and more global. So uh, we have more, a higher percentage of residents who maybe speak a language other than English at home, uh, or maybe uh, came to here from another country originally. And I think that fits in well to the identity that uh, Des Plaines is a welcoming and diverse place. Right. And so how else is the sense of data used, maybe even at the federal and state as well as the local level? Sure. Well, as it affects Des Plaines, there are several forces, sources of funding that are allocated to the city based on how many people we have. Everything from the Illinois state income tax is given out to communities based on how many people they have as a percentage of the pie. Uh, there are certain transportation grants and so on that affect our infrastructure uh, where we stand to perhaps get a little bit more money apples to apples than we would have in the past. So that's positive. Uh, I'll also highlight that um, businesses and those who do development and investment are tracking you know, where are communities growing and where are they not? And it helps them decide you know, where they want to invest because our economy essentially is people. People are spending power and so on. So uh, but in seeing this growth, that's going to attract, um, and already is, businesses to call the city, for instance, and say, hey, I see that you're growing. I'm interested in locating there. Can you tell me where would be a good spot? Can you tell me how I can best reach my market? Talking about development, we've got a big one going up here. That's right. So this is the 1425 Ellenwood Project produced by uh, Bayview and Compass Point. It's 212 uh, residential units on top of 
uh, commercial and parking on the ground floor. Uh, this is symbolic too. Um, between 2010 and 2020, uh, Des Plaines added about a, a thousand housing units. So I talked about the importance of that growth. Well, that growth can happen, but people need a place to live. The new people, other people, um, different kinds of households need different types of places to live. So uh, Des Plaines' decision to add to our residential housing stock and add different types of housing is really supporting that growth that we are seeing. Great. And so people may not realize also that that data influences like the congressional lines um, and other things at that federal and state level. Can you explain that for us? Sure. Uh, part of the reason we take the census is it's in the Constitution of the United States. It uh, decides how Congress is apportioned through each of the 50, 50 states. Now, Illinois, unfortunately, is not a fast-growing state. We cited Des Plaines growth, but just in terms at the state level, Illinois stands to lose a congressional uh, representative, unfortunately. Um, there are also other states like Texas that are fast-growing where they will gain additional uh, representation. Uh, but what that speaks to going forward is that it's important for people to take the census, which I think came through loud and clear here based on the data we've seen. Um, but going forward in years to come, uh, always take that census and reply because it does affect you know, how much your voice has weight within our government. Absolutely. Well, thanks so much for breaking this down for us. We appreciate it. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Sure. We're standing here downtown. You referenced this uh, development under construction behind us, but it's one of just a few uh, things falling into place for downtown Des Plaines. We're very excited about what's on the horizon. The Des Plaines uh, Theater, of course, is opening at the end of October with its first show, and then we'll continue to have shows three to four nights per week. Uh, which will constantly bring traffic uh, in both auto, but also just people in general to come down and support the existing businesses and hopefully attract new. We have a new restaurant opening in Metropolitan Square that we're excited about uh, in At 7. Uh, we have several existing uh, restaurants and stores. And I would just encourage folks who are watching to make an effort to come down in the evening sometime when a show is going on or when it lets out, even if you're not going to the show, and see who's down here. Let's. Uh, capitalize and let's celebrate the fact that we have more going on in downtown Des Plaines in the evening. Discover Des Plaines. That's right. All right. Thanks so much, John. Thanks, Jenny. Well, that's it for today. We'll see you next time. Don't forget you can find us at desplaines.org and on social media. Bye-bye.